Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and today I'm going to continue in my Pro Tools versus Logic series, and we're going to talk about comping. Now, this will work for either instrumental comps, vocal comps, you name it. I'm going to show you how both Pro Tools 12 and Logic Pro 10 handle comping. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this session. All right, I'm going to start in Logic Pro 10. I have an acoustic guitar that I have tracked right here. And to open up the comp file, there's going to be a little triangle up here that you can click on, and it'll open up all the different takes. As you can see, I have take one, take two, take three, and I can just click on any of them, and I can listen to them, and it'll play. Sounds cool. So what I really like about Logic Pro 10's comp features that you're not going to find in Pro Tools 12 is the fact that you can swipe comp. So say I like the beginning of this take, but then I want to go up and do the rest of this take for right here. Then I want to swipe and do this take. And then down here, I like this part of it. And then I want to finish up on this one over here. I now have an entire comp just by swiping and it gives me fades and everything that I need. So now we have super cool. And then if I want, if I'm satisfied with the way the edit sound, I can just go up to here and flatten and merge my take. I'm not going to do that now, but that is how comping works in Logic Pro 10. And what's really cool is you just kind of record, and when you record over it, it'll create a new take for you, and it's super simple. Now let's go over to Pro Tools. As you can see, I have a guitar part, just the same one that I have put into Logic I have in here. And in Pro Tools, it is called Playlist. So we go up to here, and we open up our playlist, and in here you can see I have my playlist. So I have my Acoustic 1 up here already. I have my Acoustic 2, Acoustic 3, and then I have my Comp folder. So if I want to comp, I would... Go up here and open up a blank track, and then I would just go ahead and highlight what it is I want, and I would hit this little arrow, and it would bring it up. And say I want this one over here, hit the arrow, it brings it up. I want this one, hit the arrow, brings it up. And I can also do this quicker by hitting Control Option V, and it'll do the same thing, which is pretty cool. And then right here, you have your comp. But the thing is, it doesn't automatically put fades in, so you're going to have to go in and add your own fades, figure out where it is that you want to place them, and then there he is. You have your comp. Um, also, when you record in Pro Tools 12, they just added the feature to where it will just create automatically a new playlist for your track, but you have to go up into Preferences, Editing, and then click these two right here. Send Foley Overlap Clips to Available Playlist while editing. Send Foley Overlap Clips to Available Playlist while recording. And that way, if I were to record another track over this, it would just create another playlist, and it makes it very easy. That is a new feature for Pro Tools 12. It is great. So really, comping really isn't that complicated. Comping isn't complicated. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. But um, as you can see, they're, they're definitely very different between the platforms. This works in playlists while Logic works in takes. And it's kind of the same idea, except from this, you can just swipe and it automatically makes its fades for you. You can adjust the fades however you like. And I honestly think that this is super cool. Thank you so much for making it this far in this Pro Tools versus Logic comping video. I hope that it helps you make a more informed decision on which platform might be best for you. I personally like Logic's swipe comp feature. I think it's the most intuitive and fastest workflow, but the playlist works great as well. It's just really up to you. I am Brad Johnson. Thanks again for watching this video. Leave me a comment below if you want me to clarify anything or you just want to reach out and say hello. I'd love to hear from you. If you got anything on this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. To all my other subscribers, I thank you for your continued support. I am Brad Johnson at Johnson.audio, where I help you sing your story, mix your mission, and master your message. I will see you in the next video. Bye.